You've got to stop leaving the door open. Mark! Mark! Mark? Daddy? Mark? Seriously, Mark, this better be good, because I am not in the mood today. No way. I... I... Daddy, she went in there, even though you said not to. No. No, she wouldn't go in there. She knows better. Daddy, she did. I... I saw her. Christine? Stay back, buddy, all right? Just, just stay here for me, okay? okay? I need to be really, really brave now, okay? And be really quiet. Listen, whatever you hear, just don't move. Shh. Just stay there. Okay. Christine. No time to explain. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on. That's it. Get in the car, Mark. 
out now! It is! Yeah, see, that's it, buddy. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, actually, yeah. I'm really brave for daddy. I'm okay. really, really, really brave. That's it. Everything's gonna be fine. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Okay, I promise. Okay. Close your eyes, Mark. Just close your eyes, buddy. Okay, I'm just, just cover your eyes. Don't look. Close your eyes, Mark! Close your eyes! Simon. Still no word? It's just not like him. He's not even responding to my texts. Well, when was the last time you heard from him? A week ago. I, I just want to make sure he's okay before this weekend. Yeah, well, why wouldn't he be? After what happened to Mark, he's just been so distant with us and mom and dad. It doesn't matter how much we help him. Oh, don't worry, it's fine. You'll see him tomorrow. Do you not remember the last time Simon and dad were in a room together? Are you sure you won't come? No, I hate these pathetic family gatherings. I know, but I could really use you. No, I've got a party at Cassie's. It's been planned for months. Fine. Fine. You stop looking at me like that. Like what? Okay, fine, I'll come. <laughs> but on two conditions. Mm -hmm. The first, I get to go in the front the whole time. Okay. And... You have to do my laundry. Fine, whatever. Why am I the one sitting in the back? Because I am sitting in the front. Gotta make a scene, but it's only two hours. Should we make a lunch? I don't even know why we're bothering with Simon in this trip anyway. He should make the effort to come and visit us every once in a while so we don't have to trek up there every year. Dad, please. This is the only time we all get to spend together. And after what happened with Mark, we need to be there for him. Well, it was over a year ago now. And I think you'll find we did try to support him and Christine when it happened, but they didn't want us there. Every year, it's the same thing. We go all the way up there to see him. And then Christine gets him to kick us out a day early. Well, I tell you what. This is the last year. Oh, Dad, just shut up. Did you apologize to your father? No. Mom, you can't keep treating Simon like an outcast. Dad, if you want to be in our lives, you've got to make an effort. OK. Just be quiet for the journey. I don't want to talk about it anymore.
typical Simon, <laughs> leaving himself open to all kinds of robbery. Dad, nobody knows this place exists. There's no one around here for miles. I don't like this. Something doesn't feel right. Uh, no, no, Dad, you and Mom stay in the car. I, I, I've been sitting here for hours. I need to stretch my legs. Fine, just stay by the car. You coming? Quiet. Don't freak out. It was probably just an accident. What do you mean? What? This is exactly what I'm talking about. It takes after you. Mom, can we please just have a couple of days of peace? A little heads up would have been nice. Yeah, but if someone's here that shouldn't be, I want to know now. Do you think everything's all right? Is it dead? I have my phone. What could have happened? I don't know, but let's get out of here and call by the car. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. I said to wait by the car. What the hell happened here? Where's Simon? We don't know. Looks like something bad happened here. 
Where's Mom? She's waiting in the car. Simon? Simon? We need to leave. Auntie Jocelyn? Can't be. I feel like I'm seeing a ghost. What's happening? Where's Daddy, Mark? You got Daddy. What do you mean? The monster. Took Daddy away. Rebecca!
focus on getting out of here, okay? Who was it? A dinosaur? How is that even possible? Joss, how can you be alive? Since I can tell you anything about it. No. Maybe Simon lied. No. I attended his funeral. We all did. Hawk was dead. I don't understand any of this. You shouldn't watch out the window. If they see you, they'll come back in here. How many are there, Monkey? Three. Two small, one big. How long have you been here? Kate, where's your phone? You had it. Downstairs. Could you go get it? Call the cops when that safe just sat there. What happened to mom and dad, Mark? The monsters got them. That's dad's computer. What are you trying to figure out here, Joss? I need to know what's going on, don't you? Seeing as we can't ask them, we can figure it out ourselves. So, Mark, this is where Daddy did his work? Yeah, on there. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Maybe this? What is that? Daddy's work diary. Hi, we need your help. What is your emergency? Oh, you, you're not going to believe me. Some of what I'm about to say may seem far-fetched, but I can assure you it is all true. As close to the truth as I can see. My name is Dr. Simon Dade. My vocation had brought me to this farm, where my experiments are kept away from prying eyes and all collateral damage is kept to a minimum. I have gone to great lengths to isolate myself from the bustle of city life, and I decided to put as much distance between my family and me. Our nearest neighbor is a 10 minute drive away, which suits myself, my wife, and our son just fine. What are you doing, Simon? The idea started when Mark passed away. <laughs> I couldn't lose him. I had to think of something. I couldn't just let him go.
I found a way to bring him back. By using the DNA cells of someone, alive or dead, I could manipulate the growth rate of those cells to synthetically breed a human in my laboratory. It could be possible to bring Mark back. I had nothing to risk and everything to gain. Day 12, um, yeah, okay, uh, so so far my attempts to manipulate the expansion of the DNA samples I've acquired have proved to be rather fruitless. Uh, however, we will persevere. Using alternative gene therapy techniques and biotechnology methods, I was able to produce uh, enzymes and proteins identical to human DNA, to Mark's DNA. Maybe I could find some way to genetically modify that DNA, manipulating the human tissues uh, and blood cells to rid Mark of his disease once he returned to us. He brought Mark back, and then he brought the dinosaurs back. Christine, honey, wake up. I've, uh... Got someone here who wants to say hello to you. Uh, the idea came when some fossils were shipped to me from an excavation rig in Argentina, uh, South America. The laboratory claimed that there was evidence of dinosaur remains within the rocks. They wanted me to study it. Through advanced technologies I've been working with, I was able to successfully extract dead cells from the fossils they sent me. Christine, baby, you will not believe your eyes. I need you to follow me to the shed right now. No, don't laugh. Come on, I'm being serious. Come on, let's go, quickly. It's gonna blow your mind. Come on, this way. Come on, that's it. I thought it would be easy to control. I could have given life not only to my son again, but I could give life to the dinosaurs. Man's biggest accomplishment. All I'd have to do was appease their appetite and keep them contained. And that'd be the hardest part. What is it? It's a dinosaur. Hey, whoa, whoa, it's okay, it's okay. Shh, it's all right. Don't make any sudden movements. God. <laughs> 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 
hey. wonderful. I didn't expect them to grow at such a rate. Mark had grown in years within just a few months. I suspected as a reaction to the genetic modification, uh, an oversight on my part. But I knew my time with him would be limited. So I had to figure out a way to slow their growth down and reverse this, so I could slow his down and keep him for longer. <laughs> At first, it was easy. Because of its size, I could feed it small rodents and rabbits I caught out in the wild. But it was growing very quickly, just like Mark had. And pretty soon, it wanted bigger prey. But if I could just get it to listen to me, uh, obey instructions, then maybe I could control its emotions when it got bigger. time I'd explained it all to Christine she would have agreed to anything to keep Mark she let me continue my experiments in the shed and she promised me she would never go in there um what was that we agreed never to tell Mark as far as he was concerned the shed was off limits it's okay honey okay, okay. don't worry about it let's go inside okay. I knew it was risky, but I was onto something. Something I just couldn't let go. Dispatching now. Stay inside the house. Do not leave. Oh, okay. Thank you. Estimated arrival is within the next 10 to 20 minutes. Bye.
We need to get out of here now. What if there are more of those things? Well, he said... Mark said there were three. So we go by his word. T-Rex and the two raptors. How hell are we gonna get out of here? Do you think Caitlin and Mark are okay? Auntie Jocelyn? Someone want to tell me what's going on here? What's that? Whatever it is, it's out there. And it's big. Let's keep moving. Doctor, what are you thinking? I need some more time with this. There's a lot to take in. Ladies, I am Sergeant Fletcher. Would you mind if myself and Private Ryan take you back to the house for some questioning? Of course. Corporal, I will leave you with the scientist. Focus on discovering what it is we are dealing with out there. Yes, Sergeant. It is what they say. We're going to need a lot more than a few guns, I can tell you that much. Thank you. You done? Does it feel like we're sitting ducks here? This could well be a state of emergency if we don't act fast. Whatever the hell that thing is out there, we need to know exactly what we are dealing with. We are not in a position to send you on your way without the facts of what happened here. We need to avoid at all costs that thing getting to the city. My brother. There's a journal upstairs documenting his findings. I think that's why he chose this location. So, so far from the public. In case it escaped, at least he could contain it. Where is this journal? Upstairs study. Private, would you mind? Yes, Sergeant. Hey there, young man. Now. I need you to tell me exactly what you know, okay? About what your dad was doing out there in his shed. Dad, he was able to make them nice. He said they'd never hurt us, but once the big one escaped, they all changed. When you say the big one, do you mean the T-Rex? Escaped. It was smaller, 
like the others at first, but it grew really quickly. This is not safe for my family, Sergeant. I understand you want to find out what happened here, but this is all we know. It, it's not safe here. That thing could be back any second. My men have guns. We are well protected here. And you're going to need more than that to stop it. You didn't see what we saw. The lives of the masses mean more to me than the lives of a handful. You understand me, sir? Now sit down. The quicker we can figure out what happened here, the quicker I will have you on your way. You have my word. Now sit. Nick, Drake, I need to send you off. Search the surrounding perimeter of the woodland. Keep out for any movement. We need to keep this thing contained so it doesn't wander into any of the surrounding areas. Guard the border whilst we wait for backup. All right, men, do not hesitate to fire at will. Regardless of what the sergeant wants, your safety comes first, understood? Yes, Corporal Fox, sir. Please, I'm going as fast as I can. Don't let the fear get to your head. This, up here, use it to your advantage. <laughs> okay? Come on. I'll go south, you go north. Don't go out too far. Sure. We've got to leave. This is just screwed up. Dad's upstairs. We can't leave him. He just pointed a gun at our heads. We get them the information they want, and then we can go. <laughs> hey, Mark. Come on, it's okay. I don't want to go. I just feel so sad I didn't spend less time. But you're not alone anymore. We're here now. I'm just really sad and I want to go. I know. I miss him too. How long have you been here for on your own? I don't know. So you haven't had a proper meal or anything? No. Well. How about we go and have a look, see what we got, huh? Yeah. We fancy some pasta. Me. Drake! Drake, can you hear me? Drake! Drake, can you hear me? Drake! Drake! Shh. What is it?
Don't move. Where is it? Stop moving. Where is it? Can we concentrate on getting out of here first? <coughs> hey, Mark, you okay? It's just a cough I had. Sometimes I feel sick. Somebody! What's going on? It's outside. Well, then just kill it. Wait! We need backup now. When in God's name is it? Find out. Yes, Sergeant. What we need to do is we need to leave. 
Do not try and play hard nuts with me, girl. You do as I say. Now stand down. If you have any sense, you will hear me. And stand the hell down. Do not try and play smart with me. This is your mess we're clearing up here. Sorry. Points a gun at a kid. I don't care what he says, we're getting the hell out of here. Now. Get back. I just need you to breathe, okay? It's okay. It killed me. It killed me. What? It's okay. Just keep breathing for me. I'm going to put some pressure on it. Just breathe. Just keep breathing for me. You're going to be okay. I've got you. You're going to be okay. <laughs> What's going on? We're getting out, okay? Okay, she gotta be really quiet, okay? When we get to the car, drive. Don't stop. Think you're going somewhere? Run. Get out of here now. No one's going anywhere. Go! No, Dad. What the hell is going on here? Girls, run now! No, I... 
You'll get them back inside this house now. We are leaving. You will do no such thing. Move out of my way! Sarge! Dead end, the barrier's blocking the road. Well, then go back the way we came. Okay. Go on, Joss! Quickly, Joss, come on! Uh, the car won't start. What? It won't start. And they're gonna be okay. Auntie Jocelyn? <laughs> Auntie Jocelyn? Don't cry, Auntie. Please don't cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, know, I know I shouldn't. <laughs> How long have you had that cough? Since Dad... Since he left. Hey, look, um, something's wrong with Mark. Something's happening, the cough, the, the blood, I think it's serious. Luna? What happened here? The raptor broke in. Luna, we need to figure out a way to stop them now and fast. The reason the T-Rex has grown to such size in such a small space of time is because it seems that during his experimentation, Simon unintentionally found a way to speed up the cell growth whilst he was genetically modifying their DNA particles. Both the dinosaurs and the boy were modified using the same methods. The boy, sorry. 
You didn't know? Know what? The young boy with them. He died. Simon found a way to manipulate the remains of his dead cells to bring him back. That seems to be where this all started. Then he found and extracted the dead cells of the dinosaurs from the fossils he was given as a part of another experiment. It seems, from what I can piece together, the rate of radiation applied during these processes have ultimately led to the rapid growth within these creatures, hence why the T-Rex is the size it is already. How old is the T-Rex? In our life years, I'd say only a month or two. Grew to that size in that amount of time. But it could be a good thing. It'll reach its life expectancy fast. How long does the raptor have left? That's the one that we need to worry about. Its growth rate appears to be the slowest. Perhaps Simon used less radiation in comparison when he was creating the raptors. It could be many more months until it reaches its life expectancy, and that's providing that nothing goes wrong beforehand. Meaning? These are all just experiments, very early stage experiments. It's very unlikely that they'll reach full life without any complications. How are you feeling, buddy? I need to lay down. Okay, um, well, the car's not working, so we're gonna have to walk a little while. Sir, how long until backup arrives? I anticipate it won't be long until that rapture returns. They should be here within the hour. An hour? We could be dead meat by then. Grab yourself a gun and be prepared. I don't know how to use a gun. Then learn. And fast. When you brought us here, you said that we'd be safe and protected. Didn't expect to come feet away from a T-Rex, did I? I want to leave. We can go to the jeeps. The jeeps are too far. Going out there, you may as well put that gun to your head now. You won't stand a chance. I'm going to hunt it down. The small one we got down with bullies last time. We can do it again. Well, you can't just leave me here. Lock the door behind me, then.
outside. Hey, hey, wait. You sure you should be holding that? Well, there's a dinosaur on the loose, so... I guess I better learn how to use it. Walk a bit for me. Okay. Good boy. Let's go. Get where they haven't left the area. It can't be the T Rex. Yeah, but the two raptors. What do we do with them? Well, I don't know. Smash them? And risk pissing them off more? No, we're moving. We can't keep doing this. We're walking around aimlessly in circles. Mark sick. I know. I know. I don't know what to do. Help me! Help me! Don't you move! Listen to me. No, we're not listening to anything you say. Some prick just shot our dad. I'm taking any orders from you. Is it war? You people, I don't give a shit about us. I'm not like them. I'm running because it got them. The raptor. They're all dead. Apart from the sergeant. I got lost running trying to find the jeep and then that T-Rex came out of nowhere. I just want to get the hell out of here. And if you come with me, we can leave here quickly. Kate, okay, put the gun down. Put it down. We know why they're not leaving the area. Jesus. Jesus has nothing to do with what's going on here. They look like they're about to hatch. They thought the creatures would pass soon, but with more on the way.
blood in it. They seem to have run into some complications with their growth rates. Doesn't seem to have resolved it before he was killed. That little boy is growing fast. <laughs> Extremely fast from what the graphs and Simon's research has shown me. It could be that within the next year he's older, a lot older, in years than the normal human aging process. What does all that mean for Mark? He's showing symptoms that he isn't responding well. Just be straight with us. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. I've already lost him once. I can't do it again. Auntie, what is it? Is something bad happening to me? Ah. No, honey, I'm fine. And you're gonna be fine too, hear me? Promise me, Ark. Hey, I don't want you to be sad anymore. <laughs> We need to keep moving. Back up's on the way. We can get those jeeps. We'll get our start. Come on.
Look, we're safe. They're here. I know, we gotta let him go. No, we gotta. Joss, Joss, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Can, can you see me? <laughs> it's okay, Jan. I'm here. We had him. I know. But at least we gotta see him one last time. Thank you.